Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I want to discuss a crucial yet often neglected part of teaching music. Getting in the zone. Getting in the zone is a very, very important part of performing music and also in practicing music. Because when you're in the zone, you're much, 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 much better. And I could add much, 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 much more muches to that sentence. Because when you're in the zone, nothing else matters. No pun intended. You're just playing music. No matter whether you're in your room alone with your animals or in front of a huge audience or in front of a small audience. It doesn't matter. When you're in the zone, you're the best musician you can be. And most people find it really hard to get in the zone, especially on stage, because of stage fright or because of the pressure of the moment or whatnot. And I want to teach you a simple method to get in the zone and to show you the difference, the, the actual physical difference between not being in the zone and being in the zone. You can, you can hear the difference in someone's playing, okay? But first, I just want to thank you for uh, enabling me to produce two lessons a week. I want to thank you. There are now two lessons a week on Lick and Riff, and it's all thanks to you, the kind people who support me on Patreon and the awesome people who purchase my courses, my 10 course uh, complete Guitar Freedom course series. You can find the links to both the Patreon page and the course series uh, in the description if this is the first time you hear about them. So thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. It's a pleasure to produce more lessons, much, much more lessons and uh, teaching for you. It's, it's a pleasure. So back to getting in the zone. Now, if, if I play just something like this, Just seven three zero on the first string. Just open, okay. Open E minor strings one, two, and three. You can start hearing a difference in the quality of my playing. Okay, you can hear that I'm still not feeling it. I'm just being technical here, I'm still not feeling it. And that's why I always advocate noodling. I always advocate improvisation. And I have a lesson called how to make beautiful music with only two chords. And this is what it, it re revolves around because it helps you to get in the zone, okay? Even before you start practicing anything, before you go on stage, just play E minor and C. And you can just play the chord. And let yourself noodle around, and then when you feel like it, start soloing. Okay, now listen to my playing. Still very technical, not very inspiring, right? There's nothing inspiring about this. When I played the seven there, Something happened, right? That it was a magical moment. You could feel it along with me because I got in the zone for a second. Because I gave myself an introduction. I let myself just listen to the music. And you can hear that there's new life to these chords now. It's no longer just arpeggios. seconds to get into it. And now, again, the 730. And I go back to C. 
and I'm gonna start getting myself in the zone. I'm still not there yet because I have to talk to the camera and I'm still in teacher mode and still in analytical mode. So let me get into it and you will hear the difference when I play. Now afterwards, I'm gonna give you a more complicated example and you could, I'm telling you, you could spot the exact place where I'm gonna get in the zone, okay? I'm not yet there, okay? I'm not there yet. Still not feeling it. That E bass there was a magical moment. I felt that one. I know that you could feel the music when I started feeling it. Suddenly it became inspired. Suddenly the music came to life. And that's because when you feel the music, your audience feels the music. The audience can feel when you phone it in, when you just play it technically. When you, you're just being technical and you just m go through the motions. But when you're really in the music, that's when you're inspiring. Now, let me just show you just, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take complicated chords, just jazz noodling. I'm gonna take ninth chords, I'm gonna take 13th chords, flat 13 chords, and you'll see, it's gonna begin as a technical move, okay, just playing. Okay, very technical. As a technical exercise, just a 2-5-1 exercise, I have lessons for that, you can search for it. And um, you can, you, you'll be able to hear when I get in the zone. You'll be able to hear. I want to prove to you that you can get in the zone even if you're not feeling like it at the moment, because that's what music does. Music sucks you in. And you're a far better musician when you are in the zone. So it's worth dedicating a couple of minutes to actually get there instead of just start performing or start practicing. Okay, so. Could you tell when the moment was? Could you tell? Because I felt it. I felt it. It was when I did this. Okay, the first time around. Um, it was F sharp um, flat 13, and I slid it up to B flat 13. And then I went back to E9, if you want to know what I did. But that was the moment when I started feeling it. So now I'm going to continue and I'm going to let the music take me where it wants to go. I'm going to try to trust it. Okay, this is the meaning of noodling. And this is why it's so important to me to teach you to noodle and to teach you to improvise. Because improvisation is speaking the musical language. You see, 
I also made a slight rhythmical mistake there and then I utilized it and I made a motif out of it. Because when you're in the zone, you feel good about no matter what you play, okay? You stop being judgmental when you're in the zone. When you're uh, on stage and you have stage fright and all eyes are on you and they're waiting to see what you're gonna play, you're judgmental of your playing. And I know many, many musicians who are never, never, ever, ever, ever satisfied with their performances, never. They never say, oh, that was a good performance. They always have something to criticize. And let me tell you something, you'll always have something to criticize. If that's what you're looking for, you'll always find stuff to criticize. I'm a very self-judgmental person, or at least I used to be, um, and, um, and, and you can feel it. Um, when, when you watch Lick and Riff from the start, you'll see that I was a bit stiffer than, than I am today because I've become less self-judgmental and less self-criticizing. I still, am, I still am that way, but much less so. So you see, when you let yourself get in the zone, you start having fun with the music instead of playing something that you have to play because there's no such thing. You don't have to play anything. Okay? If the audience came to hear you play your album, then you have to play them your album. But who says that you have to play them your album the way it's recorded? Maybe you want to solo a new solo over it, over a song. Maybe you want to play something in a different key. Maybe you want to play something in a, di in a completely different rhythm. Maybe you want to take one of your rock songs and play it as a reggae song that evening because you're in the zone and you feel it and you feel you feel the reggae, you want to play reggae. Why stop yourself from doing so? So allow yourself to get in the zone because you've heard it, you've heard it. When you're in the zone, your audience feels the music. You feel the music, your audience feels the music. Whatever you feel when you play, you transmit right to your audience. If you don't feel anything and it's just technical, the audience feels nothing. That's the point of this video. So thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now, and I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks.